Okay, here's a quick video showing you the automatic license plate detection. Uh, so there's a few things you can do with license plates in Orbis X. Uh, so the first one, I'm just going to pull up a random event here in this test account. Uh, so you'll see for the vehicle for this particular job, uh, we have the odometer reading, then we have the plate number. Here you can manually enter in a plate number and it'll save. So I'll just enter in some random stuff. Let's just say that that's the plate number. So it'll save for us. So if we close it, reopen it, you'll see we've got our plate number saved. Uh, but a cool thing you can do is you can actually have the AI uh, read the license plate from a photo. So you'd be able to click this button here and you'll be able to uh, upload a video or a video. Sorry, you'll be able to upload a photo or you'll be able to take a photo on the spot with your camera uh, on your phone and you'll be able to have the AI detect the plate and then it'll fill it in this box here. Um, so I'm on a computer right now, so I'm going to have to find a license plate. So let me just go to... Google and what will we search? Let's look for Ohio license plate maybe. And let's see, images. So what we wanna do though is, these are obviously gonna be easy because it's just a plate. Let's do uh, Ohio car front, there we go. Um, so here we go, okay, so we've got a car here for example. Let's save that image. And we'll go back to Orbis X. And we'll click on the photo button here. And normally you'd take a picture with your phone. In this case, you know, of course, we're going to just upload it from the computer. And so if we go to upload, where is it here? There we go. Boom. So we'll upload that plate. And then it's going to read the license plate for me. So we've got DEF 9711. And we'll go back here, DEF 9711. So the AI read that from the photo, saves it automatically to the profile. Um, and then vehicle plate updated and then if you go back you'll see we'll scroll down and there we have it there now to enable this feature though um, what you need to do is it works on a credit system so we're going to go into admin and then manage feature add-ons so we go here and then you're going to see your wallet if you're just starting with this you're going to see your wallet is at zero and you'll be able to buy credits so you can click buy credits and you can you know choose the number of credits you want to buy you can enter in your card details, charge new card. If you have a card on file, it'll show up below here and you can just automatically charge. And then you have the option to set it to auto reload credits um, or you can turn that off if you don't want to auto reload your credits. Um, and then there's two features at the moment, but more will be added shortly uh, for you know credit features that is. Uh, so this one here, the license plate auto detect, uh, that's 10 credits for this one and the billing cycles every 30 days. And you can enable or disable and stop renewal and all that stuff from the subscriptions management section, which once again is found by going to admin and then scrolling down to manage feature add-ons. And from here, you'll also see uh, IP camera quick picks. That's if you have cameras set up in your shop. Uh, we have a list of cameras that work with our system and you can basically set them up all around the vehicle and they'll take pictures uh, with one click from, a uh, from an event. Um, and so to show you that, let me just pull this up in a new window so I can go back. Uh, so from here, if I scroll down, uh, basically you always have your, your photos uh, stuff here, uh, but you'll see this uh, if you subscribe to it and you have cameras and you can put them in different bays. We have a bay called Morada uh, and then unsigned as well uh, for our testing account. And so you can click which uh, camera bay or whatever you want to take. In each of these, there's only one camera at the moment. It's just a test account. Uh, but at our shop, we've got 16 cameras and we can basically uh, choose which ones we want. And if we cl click one, it'll take pictures all around the vehicle and upload them automatically to the photo section uh, for the appointment. Now, on our account, uh, this is just a demo, but on our shop account, we have both enabled license plate auto detect and IP cameras. And so what's cool with the license plate auto detect is that we can actually assign these so I'll open up the camera list. You can assign by clicking on the car icon, uh, as you can see here, toggle AI plate detection. Uh, so you can actually turn that on and it will automatically detect uh, a license plate when you do the quick picks. So it'll take pictures all around the vehicle and then whichever camera you have assigned for the license plate, uh, you'll be able to uh, have that automatically taken and assigned to this plate number uh, value. Uh, for you so it's really handy saves you a lot of time and under the subscriptions uh, that one is 25 credits and then the license plate is 10 so you had a total of 35 credits per month 
uh, is what you'll be spending on that. And that way you can have your quick picks where it automatically takes pictures all around the vehicle and uploads them for you uh, to the appointment like magic. And then at the same time, it'll read the license plate and save it to the event for you as well. And that's handy if you want to search or look up uh, vehicles by license plate, or maybe that's your identifier um, that you collect so that you know which you know which vehicle is which uh, maybe you have a customer and they've got two vehicles that are identical uh, this is where having the the plate number can help because vins are great uh, of course but vins are also long and so uh, sometimes it's easier to just collect the plate number uh, for reference points and then collect the vin when you want to do the carfax stuff so okay that's enough on the subscriptions management how you would set that up and then the automatic plate detection we went over uh, so you can click the uh, little camera icon there now let's go check out this test company here super test and if we scroll down to the vehicle section you'll see that I also have those options enabled um, for each vehicle here as well so you'll see plate number plate number and you'll see all the ones here's the one that we just saved um, and then you'll see those little uh, camera icons where you can you know click that and then it'll be the same process where you can upload the uh, the photo or you can take a photo from your phone and then you can always manually enter it. So manually entering, uh, there's no cost of credits for those, uh, only when you want the AI to automatically read the image for you. All right, so that's basically how the uh, new feature for the AI plate detection works and also how you can put in plate numbers for vehicles.